Homeowners in North Texas have a few more days to protest the proposed value of their property. Setting the value now is the first step in determining what you'll ultimately pay in property taxes later this year. Each appraisal district handles the process a little bit differently. The Collin, Denton, and Dallas appraisal districts protest deadline is May 15th. The Tarrant appraisal district pushed its protest deadline for homeowners back to May 24th. Now, if you were protesting, NBC5 response reporter Deanna Zoga shows you the evidence you'll need to collect and the common mistakes to avoid. We got our appraisal notice in the mail, and let's just say that I was not enthusiastic. After Ian Jones' 2024 appraisal notice arrived, he got to work on his protest of the appraisal district's proposed market value for his home in Wiley. I have done this multiple times before. This would not be the first time. This time, uh, I feel like maybe we got a really good shot. A shot at bringing down the market value, the price the appraisal district believes someone would pay for a property. Whether you've protested before or it's your first time, appraisal districts say certain facts about your home carry more weight. The condition is going to always be the biggest. Brian Swanson is the Collins Central Appraisal District's Deputy Chief Appraiser. He explains under the tax code, an appraisal district must reappraise a property at least once every three years. In Collin County, there are around 435,000 pieces of property. That's a lot divided by just a handful of appraisers to have to go out and look at. Um, so we're not going to see everything every year. Appraisers don't see inside your house. Swanson says they're particularly interested in big repairs needed, like the foundation, HVAC system, roof, or the windows may be broken or fogged over. Major items like that. We ask that you bring us copies of the quotes that you've received from various um, contractors that you talk with. Appraisers have access to local permits pulled for your address. Swanson says the taxpayer can bring more information about whether the repairs are done. We can kind of tell what may be happening property to property, uh, but we don't know if it's been fixed. And so that, that's another reason why we need to know from the taxpayer has any of this been done. When it comes to condition, Cheryl Jordan with the Dallas Central Appraisal District says it is focused on what is not typical for homes like yours in your neighborhood. A lot of people are able to sell their house as is. This is where a real estate agent can help. Many offer to pull comps for homeowners at no charge. Ask a realtor, what do you think my property is worth? Even tell them, hey, I want to fight the appraisal district on my value. Ask them to give you uh, some comparables of what properties similar to yours are selling for in your neighborhood. In your neighborhood means closely matching the neighborhood code as defined by the appraisal district. You can find the code for each address on an appraisal district's website. If you've decided to protest the value, you have to file written notice by the deadline. The Dallas, Denton, Collin, and Tarrant appraisal districts offer an electronic filing option on their websites. After a cyber attack this year, Tarrant Appraisal District's online protest portal is back up. Protest forms include the option to protest based on market value and unequal value. For many typical home value protests, checking the box for both opens the door to presenting the widest range of evidence. You may go through an informal process first with the local appraiser. From there, your protest may go to an appraisal review board where the appraisal district and the homeowner each lay out their case. That the burden of proof is on the appraisal district to prove up the value. The property owner is expected to bring convincing evidence. Will Wiggins is a property tax consultant with North Texas Property Tax Services. I would ask to see the district's evidence of value first and know what you're up against. A property owner is entitled to see a copy of the information the appraisal district plans to introduce at your hearing. In addition to pulling sales comps, Wiggins says look at appraised values for similar homes too. Take a look at other appraisals, some properties that are like yours, and they should be in line with yours. Uh, if not, then you need to report that. Put together an evidence packet focused on facts supporting your opinion of your home value. Yeah, I think uh, primarily one of the biggest mistakes I see is people come in and they want to talk about their taxes 
and I always advise people to stay away from that. Appraisal districts don't set tax rates, and Wiggins says the ARB would want to know about your current value. Another common mistake is to talk about uh, last year's value or how the value went from this to this, and that's not as relevant as the current value. All that matters is the value that's in play this year. I've only been successful one out of the last six times that I've done it. Jones, a mortgage loan officer by trade, says he'll try again when he disagrees with the value. Always, always, always fight no matter what against where you feel like you, you can get some savings, right? Deanna Zoga, NBC5 responds. You can hire a firm to protest for you. Some charge fees based on a reduction they can get, a flat fee or a combination. Read the fine print and understand if the cost helps your tax situation. Head to NBCDFW.com for more resources to understand the process, including making sure you have all the available exemptions in place.